Hey everybody, Ryan F. MTG here, and before I talk about today's deck, please pat the little corgi in the bottom right of your screen. That's the sub button, each and every sub means a lot to me, especially because we're getting closer and closer to that 1,000 sub threshold, which hopefully we hit sooner rather than later. However, that's enough about that. What are we doing today? We are walking down memory lane with one of my favorite deck archetypes. Wesker or Burroughs. I love Ouroboros. I haven't played this deck for a little bit and there's some new legendaries that I really want to try out because black tends to get some really good legendaries or well legendaries in Tappan tend to be very good. The two new ones that we are playing with is Dreadful Business it is 4 MP destroy one unit with MP cost of six or less. That destroys a whole lot of things and you get to target right it's not random. It says distribute HP split among all units with the same controller equal to the destroyed unit's HP. So that means if you destroy one of your opponent's units, their other units get pumped with HP. And you know what? More times than not, that's pretty darn okay, especially because this only costs 4 MP. That is so cheap. And then a Wound and a Thirst. I played with this card a little bit. I really like it. It's 5 MP. Give one friendly unit plus two attack, which is cool. Destroy all enemy units with HP less than or equal to that unit's attack. That is fantastic. I think this card is extremely powerful, especially when you're playing with big, beefy units. And that is kind of what we're doing. What units are we playing? We're playing a playset of Tyrant and of Gore. And then one black round because it is legendary. And Serpent demon orochi this card is fantastic i'm actually not playing any mill strategy i'm not playing any devils well the big reason why i'm not playing mill strategy is just because i want to put more pump spells in this deck and why i'm not playing any devils is because i just want to false throne get orochi into our graveyard and then be able to rebirth it you know one two punch without the fear of maybe getting a devil into the graveyard and then of course we are playing you know play set of false throne and we are doing two return from the dead because i really like this card yes it is five mp but it's pretty good especially if you get to flip a gore the more rebirth effects that don't exile when it dies is great because you can start getting more and more life gain and we're playing a lot of ways to pump up our units hopefully Orochi or Flip Tyrant in a playset of Psycho Power as well as some legendaries of Valor, Forbidden Fruit, and well removal spell and a pump spell seems pretty fantastic and to round it all off we're playing a slew of removal a playset of False Thrones, the legendaries that I just talked about, and some old legendaries that of course you want to be playing when you're playing a lot of actions. Rebel's Memory is fantastic and what Burrow's deck is in any worth its salt without cruel game as well as living death. But that's enough about the deck. Let's jump into some games and see how cheap we can get some wins. Round one up against despair. We can keep this hand. I would like to mulligan to be very greedy of just like get a false throne into rebirth and then, you know, get a Rochi. But this is very good because we can play our gore and then play black crown, flip the gore, and then we have that. So then we can like rebirth and just gain all the life. In this matchup, I like that we're playing three fates. Fates will hit a lot. In other matchups like the Erber or mirror match or something, that will not do that good. Uh, three or less to one. I'm going to be greedy. I know that both of these have spillover, but I really wanted to put them here rather than the middle lane. Maybe that wasn't good, but I wanted to make trades, right? Well, we could just rebirth that back because I don't want to play Tyre into empty lane. We're at 30. I think rebirth is just the answer, right? I want to see what they do. Like, I'll, I'll go net 10 MP. Okay, obviously we play something now because there's no reason to wait. Ah, why was I think I was thinking RNG would be our friend right now? It is not our friend right now, but that is okay. Yeah, I think it's worth it to do this. It's unfortunate that. We netted 10 MP, so it is not free, but it's still saving it. And now we're just... Do we just jam? Yeah, we're jamming. Do we go all the way? 
I don't want to go all the way because they could have a cruel game. Okay, now I'm going all the way because now they're playing Alfred and stuff like that. They do not have a cruel game in hand. Yeah, let's just kill this. It saves two damage, so it's going to be a five. Well, let's kill that. Definitely now. Like, if I was unsure if I wanted to fade it to cut out Selfless Predation, I will definitely fade it. And even if they have something, they're just going to be dead here. Whew. Okay, Uroboros taking down round one. Let's keep this train going. Round two against Dungeon Ranky. This could be hard, but we have our demon in hand. We keep this. So kind of like what I was talking about, do we really want a playset of fate? Questionable. Do we even want Dark Exchange? I always want this card to be so, so good. And I feel like more times than not, it's not. But I don't know. Maybe I'll just play it for the lulls of like, how many legendaries can we fit into one deck? Let's go. Different thought. Should we have played Gore into a Rochi? They're just going to waste a lot of cards, but they're gaining up their memory. So... Well, now they don't have Chain of Fists, which is, which is kind of nice. So their most efficient burn spell is completely gone. Well, now let's start with the second most efficient. Unfortunately, this is just going to mean like an early Ryu play from them could just destroy us. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, they're kind of running out of burn, which is good. I think we're, I think we're just going to play this. Ooh, I do like that. How big is this? Can't do that. Um. What do we want to do? I think now we do this. Ooh, psycho power is great. You know what? I think we actually just do psycho power on this. Like, sure, this guy is probably going to not be long for this world, but now just, like, getting this more and more, that's just going to be so good. Oh, didn't die? Tilt. Can't do that. Well, unfortunately, we might just be dead. We're at five. Okay. <laughs> Good talk. <gasps> GG's, Engine Ranky. You got me. We lost. Maybe we flew too close to the sun there. Round three up against Ragey Demon. This hand is such a keep. We have False Throne, False Throne, Living Death. <laughs> LOL, let's go. <gasps> oh, this is why I play this deck. The last round we got burned out. Now we're going to do some degenerate things. And we have and we have our uh, wound and a thirst. So I kind of want to do this now. So just in case if the opponent does something, we get a free false throne rather than waiting until we do 10 and then maybe the opponent doing something first. Oh, opponent, thank you. Another false throne. Living the dream. <laughs> RNG. You made my day. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, we'll take. Well, unfortunately, we'll take four damage. LOL. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't want to see if they play anything. We could do it now. 
Okay, they're not going to play anything. That's fine. I wonder if the opponent just concedes here. I hope that they don't. Well, that's actually fine because they're just gaining seven life to kill it. So they'll get it back. But like, there's no reason to fade it because they're at 30. Okay. The opponent's not conceding. They're putting up a fight. But I think ours are going to be better. Just saying. I think ours are going to be better. Yeah, it looks a lot better. <laughs> Yeah, it looks uh, significantly better, doesn't it? I don't want to do anything because they could have a cruel game. Ooh, that's good. Um, we could build this up so that it kills this because this kills on HP. So attack to HP. We just do this. Yeah, let's just do this because now we have our hero power online. Man, what I thought was going to be a very quick game is actually turning out to be a game. Oh, that's right. We don't have anything. Shh. I forgot about our legendary card that we played just a little bit ago. So we're not winning this race. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're going to lose this? No! Oh my god, well now I feel like a jerk. Like, before I was like, LOL, our opponent's going to concede. I wonder if we could play this differently in a manner... ...that we could have won. But like... I don't know. Maybe. I, I feel like this is the game that we could have done something differently, but I actually don't even know if we could have. Right? It's it's our legendary Dark Exchange or whatever. If if stuff was in our graveyard, we would have gotten there. Mm. Fourth and final round. Let's see if we can win this to go two and two. Okay, keep this hand. This is like the hand we kept last time, and it's like, LOL, this is broken. We're going to lose or win, and we lost. But that was because of our stupid legendary card. So we're not going to do that again. We're just going to win. And your hand to the graveyard. So hopefully, I'm going to hope, you know what? That this DiCapria didn't actually do anything. Okay, well, it definitely did do something. But this is fine because we still have living death. So they're going to bring back their... Whoa, that's not what I was thinking, but sure, dude, that, that plays. Uh, let's just do this. Let's not even take four damage. They're not going to play another thing. Hopefully they don't have a false throne in hand. They would have fired it off. They're probably just like, sure. So they're just cycling through. That makes sense. Oh, hello. Yeah, let's just go more all in on Orochi. Oh, if this dude can hit, he's going to hit for six. Let's go, man. So they're just really OK. They're just trying to go through their deck, draw something. I'm going to keep this in here because this was a fun last game and I want to show that we won with this deck. Overall, I believe we just went two and two and that is not the best by any means. I do think Wesker or Burroughs is good in this meta. You know, usually it's good because you're playing with so many intrinsically good quality cards or busted cards. Is it the best deck? Maybe, maybe not. Can you improve on this list? Yes, this list was more just like, hey, I haven't played this archetype for a while. I want to and I want to throw some cards that I just like or that are flashy into it. And I definitely want to change some things. I'm getting Dark Exchange out of here. Get this card out. 
losing game three, right? I think, and I'm pretty sure like we played this and that's why we didn't have anything in the graveyard and blah, 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 blah. This card just isn't that good. I don't think I want all these removal spells of like a playset of fates and just every single thing. So I think the first thing is maybe cutting down some fates and maybe that's just it. Because I really do like a lot of the other removal spells. Maybe to return from the dead is not the best, but maybe, maybe it isn't. I still kind of like the whole mill strategy just because you mill through your deck, but maybe that's not where you want to be. Maybe you just want to kind of keep the core of this because like Psycho Power goes a long way. These pump spells go a long way on Orochi or even if it's not Orochi, it's a flipped gore or a flipped tyrant or something like that. So maybe going to the mill strategy is not where you want to, but just shaving a couple cards, shaving a couple numbers, adding a couple other cards that will just be more impactful more times than not to make this deck a little bit more consistent is going to go a very long way. However, that's it for this video. It was a little bit lackluster of games and wins for sure, but it was fun. I had fun playing Ouroboros. Hopefully you have fun watching it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.